Hey guys, welcome. Spreadsheet Geek here. Uh, I want to run through a quick activity today. Uh, this is the cereal box design project. Um, this is part one, and I also have another cereal box that um, that I do a bit, little bit later. This one is really just focused around formatting and some spreadsheets ba basics. Uh, the next version or the next activity, cereal box two, is um, is a lot more mathy. And I'll, I'll usually revisit the cereal box and do cereal box version two when we start getting into functions and formulas. Um, when I, I don't have the video yet for cereal box two, but when I get everything ready for that, I'll post that version in the comments here, so, or in the description here, so that you can get to that one if you want to. It's not there, it's not there yet, but ch check it out. I'll, I'll add it when I, when I have it done. Um, but this is just a, an introductory. It's one of the very first projects that I will do when I'm working on spreadsheets. Um, it's pretty approachable. The students don't have too hard of a time with it. And, um, and I like to introduce the idea that spreadsheets can be creative and can be fun and they don't have to all be about numbers. And, and uh, so I like, to, I like to introduce it with something that's creative and fun and not throw a bunch of numbers at them right away, even though we know that we want them to use numbers in spreadsheets. Um, if you check out the description, I'm going to put a link to my teacher pay teacher version of this. It's the full version. Um, my price point on it is only two bucks, so it's not too bad and it should be student ready. Uh, it includes links to all the skills that they're going to need for this. Um, I'm also going to post a link in the description to a playlist that has all of those skills in there. Um, so if there's anything that you don't know how to do or don't know how to show students to do, then you can use those videos. Um, go ahead and give those to the videos, give those videos to the students if you want. Um, but it should be everything that you need. If you check the description, it should be everything that you need to, to roll this baby out with, uh, tied up with a ribbon and a bow and ready to go. Um, but I'm going to walk you through it. If you don't want to pay the two bucks, um, I understand and, uh, teacher salaries. Um, but I understand completely. I'm going to walk you through it and tell you exactly what I do. And, and you should be able to have your students do this without any trouble just by showing them some good examples and, and uh, giving them a little bit of guidance along the way. So the first activity uh, that I do is a pixel art. And so I'll have them start a new spreadsheet and use uh, the, the sheet that's on the bottom, usually that's sheet one. I tell them to rename it pixel art. And then I will have them search for a pixel art that's related to their theme and they're going to be using the fill tool and column width to make their pixel art. So what I'll have them do is I'll have them highlight about 50 columns worth of columns and change the width of all those columns to something that's pretty square. Um, that way they get a little more square shape dot of color. And then once they have a bunch of square shaped cells that they can work with, I just have them uh, look at some sort of uh, some sort of guide that they found on the internet and try to use the fill tool or the paint bucket tool to fill in all those cells with the right colors to reproduce that pixel art. So this will take them, you know, five or ten minutes. They should be able to find something that they can work off of. And if you give them another half hour or so, they can usually reproduce something that looks pretty good. Usually they're, they're pretty happy with what they produced. Um, so that's the pixel art activity. And then the second activity that I'll have them do, I'll have them create another sheet within the same workbook. So they don't create a whole new file, just get used to using different sheets that are in the same workbook. So I'll have them create another sheet, um, rename it, and this one will be a word scramble. And for this one, once again, I'll have them, uh, in column A, I'll have them type a list of words related to their theme. So basically 10 words. And then with columns B onward, I'll have them resize those columns once again down to a square shape. Um, highlight a range of cells and put a border around those cells. And then I'll have them fill in the middle with their, their 10 words, um, one letter per cell. And they, I usually tell them they can go across. And at this point, I'll introduce that they can use the tab key to move from one cell to the next if they're typing their word across. If they're using a down, I will tell them to hit the enter key. That's good practice, hitting the enter key. Um, but I'll have them fill in their words somewhere within that cell range. And then I will um, have them fill the interior with a light color. 
There's a border around the outside. They got their list of words. And so that ends up being their, their word search. They have to fill in the rest of that cell range with just random letters. So this usually doesn't take them too long. Another, this is about 20 minutes to a half hour. The third activity that I'll have them do is to add one more worksheet and rename that worksheet uh, Word Scramble. And then I'll have them type their list of words, uh, same 10 words that they used for the word search. And then I'll have them uh, type those in the leftmost column, usually like column A. And then I'll have them use the rest of the columns, once again, resizing those columns down to uh, a, a more square shape. Um, and I'll have them unscramble those words. And so I'll show you an image here of what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, but I'll have them do a word scramble as that third activity. So what you end up with is you end up with a, a workbook that has three sheets in it. One is for the pixel art, one is for the word search, and the last one is for the word scramble. So it gets them used to using different worksheets within the same workbook. It's a lot of formatting stuff, um, borders, uh, pixel, or I'm sorry, borders, um, fill color, column widths. Um, there's a little bit of font formatting in there that usually, students usually don't have any trouble with, especially if you've, if you've already done um, word processing or, or anything that involves formatting font. Um, I do use merge and merge here, merge and center, um, to stretch a title across the top. That's a nice skill. Um, font formatting, column width. Um, on the word search, I'll have them copy and paste a picture or insert a picture so that they have, so that they have a picture to go with their, with their word scramble. Um, so it's just some basic skills. Uh, usually the students enjoy the creativity of it. Um, all the skills are pretty easy. Um, so it usually works out well. It's a good introduction. Students leave it feeling reasonably comfortable with spreadsheets. They get used to the environment and uh, then you can start to tackle some harder stuff. But like I said, two to three days is usually what I shoot for here. Um, I will link in the description. I'm going to put a link to my quick skills channel and that has short videos usually about one to three minutes for everything pretty short videos that describe all of the basic skills that they're going to need for the borders and the cell merging and the fill color and everything else that goes into this project along with a bunch of others so I'll put that link down there too if you need any of those or want to make those available to students especially if students were absent or whatever if you if you go over it on your own um, but uh, hopefully this is something that you can use tomorrow to eat up a couple days and introduce students to spreadsheets. If they've already done spreadsheets, this is just, this is something fun that can, that can allow them some creativity and, and, uh, and reinforce those skills that you've, that you may have already covered. So, um, if you, if you use it, I'd appreciate, uh, a like or a subscribe. Um, even just let the video play in the background is great. Get me some watch minutes. Um, but enjoy it, use it, and uh, good luck. Thanks.